Hi, I'm Darren and welcome to New Factory Classics. Today we are going to continue our journey through sequels that are so bad they ruin the entire series. This is Sequels That Sucked, The Matrix Resurrections. In 1999, The Matrix came out and it was widely considered one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. It was revolutionary in its special effects and the sheer amount of action that it packed into that 2 hour and 15 minute film. It also had a unique outlook on robots, AI, and the new budding internet age of the late 90s. The film was a massive success and is still a fan favorite today. Due to the success of the first film, it was only a matter of time before the two sequels were greenlit. In early 2003, The Matrix Reloaded came out, and The Matrix Revolutions came out only a few months later that year. They were filmed at the same time and they were supposed to be watched in quick succession. And thus, the Matrix trilogy was complete. Sure, there were hints that Neo could come back, they even stated it at the end of the third movie. But really, the story was done, and we all needed to move on. And time passed year after year with little whispers and hopes that maybe one day we would return to the world of the Matrix. Though it really never made sense as the main two characters were already dead. But surprisingly, in the late 20-teens, the fourth Matrix was greenlit. The fourth movie was scheduled to begin development nearly 15 years after the third movie came out. And after years of writing and editing and filming and then a delay of COVID, The Matrix Resurrections finally came out. And it sucked. Okay, let's start out with one of the big ones. It's one thing if you resurrect your Jesus character, but when you start resurrecting all of his friends, it really depletes the fact that they killed themselves in order to save the day. So right out to begin with, the entire premise of the fourth movie feels like a money grab. And then they decided that Lawrence Fishburne was just too old to play Morpheus again, so then they would just use a different actor. So one of everyone's favorite characters is automatically looking different during the entire fourth film. On the other hand, Jada Pinkett Smith was brought back. Now this might have been a few years before the slap, but it was still after that time that she brought Will Smith out to the red table and made fun of him to his face in front of the entire world. So isn't it fantastic that we get Jada Pinkett Smith back, but for some reason we don't get Lawrence Fishburne back. Hugo Weaving actually showed interest in coming back and portraying his villain again. But the production team was unwilling to work around his schedule, so they just decided to replace him. So now we lose one of film's most iconic villains, but luckily for us, we still get this lady. Plot-wise, the first quarter of the film is very repetitious of the first Matrix. Which is fine, I guess, but if I wanted to see the first Matrix, I could just plug that into my DVD player. The second half of the movie is the big twist. Trinity gets to be the new female Jesus going forward. Sure, Neo is still amazing, but now Trinity is even more super amazing. The entire film feels forced and is just not very enjoyable. The sad part is, is I really like Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss. It would have been awesome to see them work together again. But not like this. Not like this. The Matrix Resurrections is so bad it actually ruins the first trilogy by upending the original ending and making it feel like a giant money grab. And that's why Matrix Resurrections is a sequel that sucked. If you know of any film sequels that have ruined the original movie by just plainly existing, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a film about it. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And while you're at it, leave a comment on my channel. I so desperately crave the acceptance of strangers online.